What's going on, HPP fam? Welcome back to another episode. I'm JD, and that's Strapping Young Gentleman's Geo, and we are diving into another week of work. There's a hand on his back. Um, so we've got TJ's car in the bay finally on this Monday morning. So we're going to get rocking and rolling on pulling the motor out of this thing so we can get started on his. Ah, ah, ah. You didn't say the magic word. Ah, Please! Ah, ah. Bowser the 300 we just pulled off the rack it's 426 is all back in but not buttoned up we're waiting on a wiring harness for that engine and a few other small things so in the meantime we're gonna push that we push that one back out and we're gonna get rock and rolling on TJ's we'll get the motor and stuff out of this one and then we'll push this one back outside while the motors being built uh, Got a little Miata action in this morning. This is a nice little old lady that uh, goes to the gym down the road and we do her oil changes for her. So, nice old German lady. You don't say no. She walked in and she told us what we was doing today. <laughs> but uh, we've been taking care of her and our Miata for years now, so. No big deal. We'll get the oil changed on that. And then, you guys check it out on our project c10 i have a bed box that looks sharp take all them stickers and crap off of there probably drill out the tractor supply thing and we'll put it put a hot psi placker on that <laughs> what you say but anyways we got that mounted in the bed so now we can start moving forward with the rest of our project and then Worked on Royce's twin turbo project a little bit this morning. Got the old engine wiring harness out of the car. And we did that to make room for our Holly system that's going in the car. So, a few more things I need to address. But, uh, exciting. Making a little progress. We lack that. But, uh, ooh, we got a fun one here. This one's going to be the rest of the day and probably part of tomorrow project but uh we've got that mustang right there you guys might remember it we did an air raid intake on it uh it is coming in to get a half cage put in it today so uh, i think it's a rw's cage or something or a wd cage i don't know i'll show you guys when we do the unboxing on the cage but that thing will be coming in the rest of the afternoon so let's dive in and get after it An MBRP exhaust on there looking good all wrapped up so let me go ahead and uh, finish Gio's gonna finish cleaning up around and uh, we'll get this thing on down so you guys can hear what it sounds like here in just a second Back to the customer. All 
all right guys so that's gonna wrap up our 2019 5.7 this thing just has a Canon colder intake and I think that's it it does it looks like it has a axle back or a cat back exhaust too um, customer complaints uh, they took it to took it to the dealership to have like a service done um, like a tune-up and have an O2 sensor changed and when they picked it back up they said it just didn't feel as good uh, they said it had a uh, car was previously tuned um, by somebody in the valley I'm not sure what that means uh, <laughs> I'm not sure what being tuned in the valley means but uh, maybe there's a shop called the valley I don't know but uh, they brought it to us we retuned it and let me show you the difference uh, so first pull is um, the previous tune and then the last pull the bottom tune is our tune we did make more but uh, you know I guarantee the customer is going to be happy with how the car drives now versus how it did before due to other things I found in the tune file but uh, so previously it made 353 horsepower 391 foot pounds of torque now it makes 371 horsepower 406 foot pounds of torque um, you can see gains pretty much through the entire RPM range so now it doesn't rev out as far that's because you can't rev it out that far without the transmission going into limp mode I don't know what these tuners be doing they be putting all these high numbers in there and then they don't get into the transmission logic and change limiters and stuff and then if you accidentally hit the rev limiter it puts the car into limp mode and then you have to come to a complete stop put it back in park all that. no just said it said it correctly so those things don't happen but uh and there's no reason to rev a bone stock 5.7 to uh almost 7,000 rpm like we're not we're not making any power up there but um but anyways aside from that we've been rocking and rolling on our cage install uh let me show you how that's working bone looking fresh going on through the back there um Still got to finish the lower part of the rear seat delete and finish tidying up some things, but it's almost done. We'll have the cage wrapped up. We'll have the cage wrapped up tomorrow. Oh, looking good. So. Also, Geo has started our next project, which is that Durango that was here for a tune. We are tearing it down. Uh, due to head gaskets leakage on one side so we didn't do the original cam install so unfortunately we got to do our due diligence take everything back apart and figure out what is wrong all right guys so let me show you i went ahead and got our half cage all wrapped up so this is what it looks like from the rear and then if we step around Boom. Pretty sweet. Let me shine a light back here. Give me one second. Focus. There we go. As you guys can see, nice and tidy all up in there. Looking good. So, that's going to wrap this one up. Get around back to the customer. So, we're getting rocking and rolling on our S10. I said S10. I meant C10. Because I'm retarded. <laughs> this is what, uh, what I got cooking. So, we got the bed box. We got a RCI 19 gallon tank. And then a battery box. Well, a battery hold down right there. I need a box and send a box. Uh, I like this layout. I think that's how it's going to be. Everything fits in there well. So the next step is going to be mounting this box permanently, which the tabs that I'm going to weld onto the fuel tank here shortly, I'm just going to run them pass through. So they're going to hold the tank and this to the bed of the truck. Uh, dual purpose there. And then I'll probably just throw four tech screws in the corners just to do it. 
uh, in case there's ever a reason for service needs to happen, the box won't move if stuff has to be taken out. But the hard mounting is going to be done through the tank, through this box, through the bed. Same with the battery box, it'll go through the, the lower panel, through the box, through the bed. Um, and that will secure this thing quite well. Um, and we'll have to throw some holes through the whole thing. I'm going to have to look underneath the truck, see where that's going to be copacetic to go through. Because uh, we got to figure out our wiring situation. And where we're going to mount our fuel pumps. Which those will probably get mounted under the truck. Most likely. Um, and then you guys seen some time lapse uh, earlier with Geo removing the cylinder heads off of this Durango and finding all the leaks and stuff, which I believe we've got them all addressed now. Um, but yeah, it's all back together. So we're gonna fire this thing up here shortly and check that out. So guys, as you can see, I've got my tabs made, figured out pretty much where I want them. So I've got the tag fired up. I'll go ahead and weld these on to the tank guys as you can see uh, I've got the feet all welded on so now we can go ahead and drill these and then set the tank in and then we'll drill through the tank through the body of the truck and we'll have our fuel cell mounted As you can see, we've been making pulls on this gnarly Whipple charger. You guys, I don't know if you recognize this one. This one is the wide body one. You see the wide body's kind of ripped off of it and it's missing the front bumper. Uh, and the hood's off of it. Last time I had all those things on there. Uh, I believe uh, Keith is the gentleman's name. Uh, when we tuned this thing before, he was running out of fuel. And he had some belt slip issues. Excuse me. Um, he has since, <coughs> excuse me, he has since changed the pulley on this thing for more boost. He has changed the tensioner. Um, and then he's gutted the car, added uh, different injectors, a four innovations, triple pump fuel system. And uh, she's ripping. However, we still have an issue with fuel. Um, so I'm going to give him a call. We didn't do any of the work on this. We're just tuning it. So. Let me give him a buzz and see if he can make it by and see if we can't figure out. I'm pretty positive our second and third pump, fuel pumps are not coming on. Um, so, I've kind of already glanced over the wiring and stuff, but I'm going to see if I can't have him come by and then we can do some tests and verify. Um, I just had the camera pointing at the fuel pressure regulator, so I'm going to watch that real carefully and see if I can see it falling as the vehicle is going to red line. However, this thing is making some power. Let me show you guys what that last pull was. 899 horsepower, 850 foot-pounds of torque. Good looking graph, but our fuels, it's not scary, but it is running away. So I'd rather it be stinking rich than stinking lean. So uh, maybe we can dive in and see what's going on with that.
I know y'all seen that. Them old ripping, boy. <laughs> uh, and I pro I think I said Keith and it's Kenneth. Got his name mixed up. Or I got it still mixed up. Either way, he know. He know I got love for him. It is an accident. Um, but this thing just made some pow pow. Boom, baby. 953 horsepower, 930 foot pounds of torque. Look at that mountain of a graph. That's gonna do it. He wanted a thousand, but that's gonna do it. It's over a thousand at the engine, and uh, we're asking a lot out of this six rib belt on this Johnny. And uh, plus, I know we're losing a little bit through the tire. But uh, I think this thing's a wrap. We'll pull this thing off the rolls. I probably will not test drive it because it screams pull me over. But uh, I might I might go around the block. Give a little tug. So guys, that's going to do it for this week's episode. You'll see next week we'll dive more into Royces. We got a Pro Charger for Mr. Harbuck's car in. And uh, we'll be tuning this Durango. Uh, this thing's got a Brian Tully racing cam, so we'll see what that one makes. And we have our toolbox. Sight! It's a fuel cell. With our battery all wrapped up. So now the battery's been relocated to the back. Truck's back up and running. So all that we have left to do is get our fuel system done on this thing. And then we'll be able to tune it. See what kind of power this uh, 5.3 with a D1 Pro Charger makes. And then Gio's got our V6 motor back in the car. Just got a quite a bit more work, but get everything put back on it. And then this one will be wrapped up. But uh, that's going to do it for this week's episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed the content. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you on the next episode. Peace.